Sigma INFJs may come across as cold, unfazed, and unconcerned with social conventions. They don't seek fame or seek to be noticed. They enjoy their own company and are happy to be by themselves. But why do those close to them still harbor such feelings of envy against them? Number 10. They put themselves first. The inner calm of a Sigma INFJ will never be traded for the convenience of another. They will never compromise their principles to accommodate others' convenience. And because not everyone in this world is capable of acting in the same manner as the Sigma INFJ, they eventually experience severe jealousy in their presence. People who are close to the Sigma INFJ can see how they prioritize their pleasure and dreams over all other considerations, while some place other people's needs and wants above their own. Sigma INFJs won't because they disbelieve that attachments and other forms of socio-emotional involvement will result in worthwhile advantages. No one cares more about their well-being than they do, they admit. No one is more dedicated to finding inner peace than they are. Therefore, Sigma INFJ will never sacrifice their growth, contentment, or pleasure for transient rewards. But does this rule also apply to your loved ones if you are a Sigma INFJ? Number 9. They are quite flexible. Who doesn't experience extreme jealousy when they are around someone who is both emotionally autonomous and flexible? For the Sigma, adaptability does not enslave them to society. It simply implies they don't care who they interact with because they are unaffected by the results of their social relationships. They don't concern themselves with what the new coworker or management will think of them. Despite the potential of being wrongly judged, they are sufficiently professional to perform their duties. This is why, despite being socially aloof, the Sigma INFJ is so adaptive. Even being referred to as strange and complex won't bother them, and they will joyfully and unreservedly go if the discrimination gets intolerable. Number 8. They are intensely concentrated on their objectives. Sigma INFJs are significantly more likely to be working hard on their projects alone in their apartment. They put their objectives above all else in their lives. Even when they date, they won't do it with the intention of becoming a regular couple or being heavily dependent on their date. They date for novelty, new experiences, and peak happiness since they are free spirits but rather because they don't want anything to do with their social interactions unless they are useful, long-term, and sensible. If they believe we are here to help them, they are ready to leave. They make sure their relationship objectives are in line with their existential mission. Without that, it is only a diversion. Has anything ever prevented an INFJ Sigma from pursuing their purpose? Number 7. They don't require praise to exude self-assurance. While others require societal approval and affirmation to feel good about themselves, INFJs of Sigma don't. They can thrive without help from outside affirmation and attention. Instead, they desire to toil silently, live quietly, and fade into the background. This is possibly the characteristic of the Sigma INFJ that is most misunderstood. Rather than seeking approval from and acceptance by their social circle, they try to remain distant and solitary. They won't want praise for their job or efforts at the office. They won't require praise for each and every accomplishment they achieve. Instead, they would adore being left alone to fulfill their duties in peace. They are not allergic to the limelight, though. They simply don't believe that everyone's reputation and good deeds should be made public. Number 6. They may thrive without a social structure. While others rely on their employment, income, and social standing to be happy, Sigma INFJs can only depend on themselves to be happy. They can report for duty and conscientiously complete their work. However, they never depend on their co-workers' bosses or their pay to keep their joy alive. It is simple for the Sigma INFJ to leave a situation if they feel grossly exhausted and mentally drained by it. People then begin to wish they were a Sigma INFJ and begin to ponder what it's like to be emotionally cut off from society. 
Regardless of how well liked and respected the other members of those social hierarchies find the Sigma INFJ, they naturally try to avoid becoming so entangled that leaving becomes challenging. Similarly, even if they are well paid for their jobs, they can never forego their inner tranquility in order to achieve that. They are ready and able to leave without looking back and start over on their own. Are you an INFJ Sigma capable of evading those hierarchies as well? Number five, they are autonomous and self-sufficient. Once more, not everyone can be as independent and self-sufficient as the Sigma INFJ. While most people require the moral support of their loved ones before they can progress and produce, Sigma INFJs must rely entirely on their own resources. They can thrive without the approval and adulation of others. They are able to support their own emotions. Despite being aware of their flaws, they should have confidence in their own abilities and be proud of their accomplishments. They provide for their own needs and make their own money. They give themselves friendship and value in terms of company. People will feel jealous of them as a result of their not requiring anyone's happiness. People will begin to emulate their independence and self-sufficiency, but they will be surprised to learn how difficult it is. Number four, they won't attempt to fit in. Because Sigma INFJs don't care about meeting societal expectations, people find it incredibly challenging to persuade them to do something. Nobody can command them to behave in a certain way or frighten them with the negative consequences of being despised. Sigma INFJs don't want to be loved either, for that matter. No one can also impose their will on them or threaten to harm their reputation. Primarily because Sigma INFJs don't give a damn about what people think of them. Anytime and however they choose, they will act contrary to the norm. Nobody will be able to tell them what to do. They set out on their own, marching at the pace of their drum. Yes, Sigma INFJs are anomalies on this front since they consistently discount societal constraints and expectations as meaningless. A majority of people will then despise them because they are challenging to govern. Do you also make decisions based only on what is intrinsically valuable? Number three, they are always logical. Boisterous and chatty people who are expressive yet shallow harbor a deep sense of envy for INFJs. They will initially deny it, but their envy will come back to bother them, especially if they regularly contact with an INFJ. It's because they can't understand how a person who is silent, aloof, remote, uninvolved, and appears inactive may suddenly make sense. If the Sigma INFJ doesn't feel like talking, they won't mind keeping quiet. If they don't feel like participating in the conversation, they won't mind staying quiet. However, they also won't be afraid to express their opinions and dispel myths. When it comes to significant matters, the INFJ Sigma cuts down other people's loudness in this way. People will start to wonder as soon as they appear and express their ideas, where they had always been. As a result of their realization that Sigma's concepts are all they require. Number two, they are free to be themselves in front of anyone. The problem with contemporary culture is that people are frequently overly reliant on outside approval to the point where, in the absence of it, they would feel empty and unworthy. They are free to enjoy being themselves as long as someone does. If the world doesn't also love it, they won't be able to love their true selves. Therefore, it is understandable why they feel jealous of the Sigma. They seek to mimic how they see themselves. They aspire to treat themselves the way the Sigma INFJ does. While some like to surround themselves with people to present a certain image to society, the Sigma INFJ can be who they are no matter who is present. They cherish who they are. Thus, they will essentially behave the same way whether alone or with others. Would you still love yourself if everyone else hated you as an INFJ Sigma? Number one, without using force, they can lead. People quickly picture threatening, coercive, demanding, and demanding leaders when they think of leaders. Sigma INFJs do, however, make good leaders without using force. 
They may inspire followership without causing dread in the minds of those they lead. Thus, those who aspire to be leaders but struggle to win others' respect would be envious of the INFJ personality type. They simply don't get how Sigma INFJs effortlessly draw out people's willingness and submissiveness. It's simpler for them to reset them to be better leaders than it is for them to become effective ones themselves since they can figure out how they do it. An intelligent, self-aware, emotionally independent person. Sigma INFJs are attracted to good individuals and repel bad ones. Despite the discrimination they face, their complex personality is thus a blessing. Can you relate to all of these characteristics as an INFJ Sigma? How do you handle envious and toxic individuals?